hashtag quietly quitting. It makes no sense to me. Quietly quitting. Makes no sense to you why America is quietly quitting. Your video states, oh, you want that extra raise? You want all of that? Go the extra mile? Hi, boys and girls. This is Alonzo Bowden with another Rebel HQ TYT video. And today we're talking about quiet quitting and why they should be loud quitting. Listen, if you don't understand it, perhaps you need to listen and learn about it before you make a decision. Because what these people are doing is only doing the work they were asked to do because they are being treated so poorly. Now, if you're of a different generation, the generation I'm in, we had something called union jobs. And we didn't have to quiet quit because our union made sure we got raises, made sure we got benefits, made sure we got overtime and time and a half and double time and... I can even remember getting double time and a half for working extra hard on a holiday. So let's not talk about these quiet quitting people. I support them. And if you don't understand, pay attention. You might learn a thing or two about how hard they're working and how little they're getting paid. I put three years in with the company. I started out at 11.88 an hour in 2018. By June of 2021, after putting in multiple shifts of overtime, working holidays, volunteering for other people so they could have time off, doing whatever it took for my supervisors, kissing ass, cleaning up, staying over, volunteering for things. You want to know what I ended up making when I quit after three years? $12.64. So the people who are quiet quitting are tired of working hard, busting their ass and getting nothing for it. Like the woman in this example who went from, I believe, 11.88 an hour to 12.64 an hour in three years. And now she's got to make car payments, somehow pay rent and pay student loans. People in the comments were saying, oh, that's a bad decision having to finance a 2002 Honda Civic. Now, she might have been being facetious, but if she is financing a 2002 Civic, it's probably the only car she could get. You see, you got to have a lot of money to, and really good credit to get these new car loans that are advertised on TV. She's also paying off a student loan and somehow paying rent. The woman is busting her ass and not getting anything for it. And that's what quiet quitting is about. Why work this hard when the only person getting rich is the CEO? These corporations have laid people off. They will lay off three people and then expect two people to do the work of three or sometimes two people to do the work of four or one person to do the work of three under the threat of firing them. And the people quiet quitting or say, you know what? Fire me because I'm not getting ahead anyway. That was not missing a single raise. That was not missing a single evaluation. That was even begging for merit raises that they decided they were going to get rid of because, quote unquote, they didn't have the money for it anymore. You want to talk about quietly quitting. Tell corporate America to start paying their employees what they're worth. We'll quit quietly quitting. And once again, the boomer generation is knocking a lot of these young people for quiet quitting, saying that they're lazy. They're not lazy. They're just working hard and not getting ahead. It's not like the days, even when I came up with manufacturing in the 80s, when you could actually support a family on a manufacturing job. Those jobs don't exist anymore. That's gone. These people are doing their best. Yeah, there's always a few lazy, a few outliers, but most of them are working hard and getting underpaid. Oh, by the way, manufacturing back in the day, back in the 60s and 70s, the CEO made, oh, I don't know, 30 times what a worker made. Now the CEO makes 300 times what a worker makes, and uh, they certainly aren't worth it. Now, let's talk about going broke and declaring bankruptcy, because I went through that, and after I declared bankruptcy, my first car loan was at 24%, and that's what it took because I needed to get a car, and I worked and worked and worked, and my credit rating's really good now. I get the great loans. But if you're rich and you declare bankruptcy, Donald Trump, <laughs> oh, let me stop coughing it, Donald Trump, you're considered a brilliant businessman. So many workers not paid by him and his company and no loss on the personal side. Bankruptcy isn't a failure to them. It's just a tool and it's not fair. I'm not going to sit here and bust my ass because some CEO that's got pockets deeper than the Nile needs a seventh vacation home in the Hamptons while I'm over here trying to make a car payment on a 2002 Honda Civic. 
So quiet quitting isn't being lazy. Quiet quitting is doing the amount of work that you're supposed to do and nothing extra. And guess what? The labor movement is happening. There are unions starting at places like Amazon and Starbucks and Walmart. Please organize at Walmart. They have employees who get food stamps because they're paid so low. That's government subsidizing Walmart, and that isn't right. So yeah, go ahead. Quiet quit. Better yet, noisily quit. And don't knock these people. The guy who's knocking her on this video looks like that, quote, American working man. If you're the American working man, don't knock the other employees. Knock the CEOs. Knock the company because the company's getting rich and the CEO is getting rich. And guess what? They don't care about the employees. How do I know? Oh, I don't know. Getting laid off every year, year and a half in the aerospace industry kind of taught me that the company really didn't care. Not once did they cry when I left. This is a generation who's discovering their value as workers and who are taking care of themselves. And I say, let's not knock them for doing that. Let's support them for doing that. Good luck, Generation X, Y, Z, or whatever letter they put you on. Quiet, quit, organize, and take care of yourselves. Maybe we can learn something from you before you have to take care of us as we retire. Ooh, there's another video we're going to have to do.